Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So as you all know, I did a series on black male YouTubers being censored on YouTube. And recently I saw a couple of videos and stories about Tommy Sotomayor. Apparently there's a petition calling for him to be removed from YouTube. And there was an article on ebony.com that was supportive of that effort. And I just want to take time to share my thoughts about this issue. As I indicated in my series on black male YouTubers being censored, you know, I think that people should have the right to express their opinions and all that stuff. But I also pointed out in that series how YouTube is not the government and the First Amendment applies to government action, state action. It does not apply necessarily to private actors who create a private forum. And YouTube is such a forum. But I nonetheless expressed my support for people being able to express their opinions and views. But I also talked about how harassment is not freedom of speech. Threats are not freedom of speech. Stalking somebody is not freedom of speech. And those are things that Tommy has engaged in. You know, he has threatened people, individuals specifically, and he has encouraged violence against black people, against women. He has videos where he's joking about domestic violence. He has videos where he's encouraging white people to fire upon black youth. He has videos where he is celebrating the killing of black men at the hands of the police. So that is not free speech. That is encouraging violence. That is encouraging threats. And this man invades people's privacy. He goes on people's Facebook pages and denigrates and attacks the dead. That's not freedom of speech. That's harassment. That's bullying. And that has no place on YouTube. I don't have any sympathy for this guy. He condones violence against black people at the hands of the police. This man has... Um, defended discrimination against black people, whether we're talking about housing discrimination or other forms of discrimination, this man is despicable. And I support this effort to have him removed from YouTube because it's not just a question of somebody expressing their opinions. That's not what he does. This man actually encourages violence. This man encourages um, domestic violence. This man encourages police brutality. This man is just despicable. This man ha actually did a video where he was basically saying that they need to lynch black people. And maybe that'll get black people back in, in order and all that kind of stuff. So I don't have sympathy for this guy. And I hope that YouTube removes his content. Do I think that they're going to remove his content? No, I don't. You know, I don't think that they will remove his videos and all that kind of stuff. Because I think that YouTube realizes that they make money off of this misogyny. They profit off of it. They profit off of these tap dancing coons. These coons make a lot of videos. They get a lot of views. And that means a lot of AdSense dollars for YouTube. Despite this effort of some companies to back away from YouTube and pull out of YouTube, there are plenty of companies that don't mind having their content on a Tommy Sotomayor channel. So, and YouTube makes plenty of money off of him. You know, if Tommy can make money off of YouTube and live it up off of YouTube, I'm sure that YouTube is making way more off of him than he's making off of them. So I think that for that reason, YouTube will keep him on there. You know, despite YouTube's rhetoric, YouTube doesn't give a damn about black people or black women. Um, so I would be doubtful that they would actually take action against this guy. You know, they flagged down a couple of his, ch his channels, but for the most part, he still has plenty of channels that are up and running. YouTube doesn't care about black people, man. That's what people don't understand. Just like all this, this whole list that people had against all these black male YouTubers, all of those guys just for the most part are up. You know, they got multiple channels now. They even have more channels than they had before that campaign started.
because YouTube benefits from misogyny. There is an audience for that foolishness, for that wickedness, for that self-hatred, unfortunately. So, you know, the bottom line is this. Tommy is not going nowhere. Um, now, Tommy, if his whole video channel was dedicated to bashing Jews or bashing gay people, um, I think that it would be more likely that his channel would be taken down. So those are just my thoughts. Tell me what y'all think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.